Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in. In this video we are going to get you started using this beginner's guide for Silversmith Data's AST. For customers in the US you will be using the ast.silversmithinc.com address and our Canada customers will use the ast.silversmithinc.ca address to access the login page for AST. If you don't yet have a user account please have your supervisor contact Silversmith support and request a new user. They will then need to fill out a spreadsheet and we will create a user account for you. You will receive an email with a link to set your password. Once you have successfully logged in, you'll notice your district's default assets are already on the map. By clicking on the asset legend, you can then select or deselect which assets you would like to view at this time. You can also select all and deselect all by checking or unchecking the top checkbox. The lowercase i icon located at the bottom left of the screen is the actual map legend which describes the different color schemes involving the assets. As you can see, green is no maintenance is required at this time, orange is maintenance is required, and red is out of service or offline. It also describes the bubble colors at the top of the hydrant assets, which is a different color depending on the GPM flow of the hydrant. By selecting an asset on the map, you will see a pop-up bubble where you can select different options. For now, I will select the maintenance view option. This will populate the maintenance view window for this asset. Starting down in the maintenance question area, by selecting different answers, you will see the asset's color ring change. For instance, I will select an answer that states the maintenance is re required, and once I click the update button, you can see the asset's color ring change from green to orange. Now I will select that the asset is out of service and you will see the color ring change from orange to red once I click the update button. Lastly, I will select that the asset does not require maintenance at this time and once I click the update button you will see the asset change back to green. At the top of the maintenance view pane is the asset's properties. Under that is the log section. In this section you can view previous logs. As you can see here, once I select the previous log, you can see the changes I previously made to display different color rings for this asset. You can add notes and upload pictures and documents. To do so, simply click on the upload image file button navigate to the image or document you want to upload, select it, and click open. Then click the update button. And once it is successful, you can exit out of the upload image file window. To delete the image, simply select it in the maintenance view pane and click on the trash icon located in the top right of the image view window. At the bottom of the maintenance view window you can email the current status of the asset to anyone assigned to your district by selecting the user and then click on the email current status button. Here is what that email will look like. You can also create a work order from the maintenance view window, but we will go over that feature in AST's advanced features videos. When I select an asset from the map and the pop-up bubble appears, you can see that you can also create a work order from here without going into the maintenance view window. And you can select view on Google Maps, which will place a marker on Google Maps to help assist you with locating the asset. By selecting the magnifying glass icon from the left side, you can search for an asset making it easier to locate the desired asset's maintenance view window. You can edit
Edit your user preferences by selecting the gear icon from the left pane. In here you can edit and or select your viewing options. You can edit your user's information and access the GPS Finder page by clicking on the GPS Finder button. The options at the bottom we will go over in the AST Advanced Features videos. Lastly, you can chat with support Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. by clicking on the chat icon located at the bottom right of the map. Well, that should be enough to get you started. Please view the other videos for more in-depth video guides of AST's features. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact support by emailing us at support at silversmithinc.com. You can call us at 989-732-8988, or you can use the chat button on the AST page. Thanks again for tuning in, and have a wonderful day.